Hey everyone, I just uh, recently posted a video d dedicated to Turbo Cancers, which was a third installment in that series. Now, Turbo Cancers is not a medical term, it has another term, so mm, don't worry if someone claims that Turbo Cancers don't exist, they're just called something else in medicine, hyperprogressive disease if you're curious. But anyway, what I didn't mention in that video, in that third installment, which was dedicated to how glutathione could be contributing to the development of turbo cancers. That's an antioxidant chemical, which is normally what you want. It's desirable in your body. But in this context, with elevated IgG levels, as well as cancer present, it's not a good thing based on studies on mice. And the reason uh, why I wanted to bring this up in this quick video is because NAC, N-acetylcysteine, is a precursor to glutathione. And a lot of people are taking NAC right now in hope that it might help to destroy spike protein. And therefore, if you consider using NAC, maybe also investigate your IgG4 levels if you've been mRNA vaccinated because there's clear evidence showing that the vast majority of mRNA vaccinated individuals post immunization do produce IgG4 antibodies against spike protein. We don't know whether that translates into elevated blood levels of these antibodies, but in case it does, combination with cancer and NAC, which is a precursor to glutathione, might not be a good thing because these studies, recent studies, all of them have done, been done maybe in the last five years, in mice show that that's the type of composition that can lead to the development of these turbo cancers or basically cancers that are growing very, very rapidly and uncontrolled in, in an uncontrolled manner. Turbo cancers is a new, new phenomenon to medicine. It was only discovered after anti-cancer medication that was IgG4 in its, in, by itself or in its own right. That's when turbo cancers were actually first discovered. All right, that's all I have for you in this. Marginomics quickie video and I look forward to seeing you in another installment. Bye everyone.